God's grace over the last year. Everybody across every spectrum of Christianity. Oh, bless you. What courage. And wow. it, it's been crazy, but we've asked the same question and right. never gotten the same exact answer. All right. And it seems All right. pretty pivotal. All right. Father Richard Rohr, what is the gospel? Hmm. The gospel for me is Jesus' announcement of the shape of reality, right? Uh, and it's, it, it, the effect that it has is that it realigns you inside of the universe. Not in the false self, but in the true self. Um, and therefore, it's a radical critique on the ordinary way of seeing everything in terms of success, power, money, control, domination. Uh, and uh, if, if you don't see it as a critique of the system, which uh, John would largely call the world. Uh, if you don't see it as a critique of the system, as an alternative universe, we end up with what we largely ended up with. And I'll pick on the Catholics first, you know. Whereas Catholic Europe largely reflected Spain, Italy, France, you understand? Uh, we weren't really an alternative. We were the worst of many of those cultures, <laughs> all blessed by the non-gospel. And now, you know, we reflect very often the worst of America. I mean, people who support torture the most are Christians. Torture. <laughs> How do we get from Jesus to torture, you know? <laughs> most evangelicals and conservative Roman Catholics have no trouble with torturing their enemies. Unbelievable. I think. But uh, when you... When, you, when the gospel, back to your good question, is not revealing what Jesus would call the reign of God, the kingdom of God, what you end up doing, of course, is put all your eggs in this kingdom of Spain, of France, or America. And you end up looking very much like America while having a little different label, I'm a Christian. We all know it. We, re ten we have tended historically to reflect the worst biases of our local culture while going to church on Sunday. Wow. <laughs>